friends, good morning. Um, I'm, uh, <sighs> frustrating day yesterday on the pickup, that carburetor. I don't know if you guys remember when I bought the truck, we bought the truck, we drove it out of the lot down to his place just to, I forget we were doing something. Well, it died the day I bought it. We spent probably two hours at his shop getting it going. It was floats and all kinds of stuff. The accelerator pump, we scarfed parts from this. He got us going. Granted, Billy, he got it. But it's never been, the carburetor's never been good. It runs great going down the road, but I'm getting a little frustrated. So it's down again, but here's part of the journey, friends. Enjoy. I'm having difficulties with my pickups, as you guys know. I'm just one of them characters that just keeps going and going and going with my old trucks. But I'm getting a little bit frustrated now with this one, I think. And you try and find a carburetor for this truck? I'm talking about the crew cab. The... the the Merc, let's start with the Merc. The Merc has got to be pulled off the road completely. The, remember when I fixed the rag joint, friends, a while back? Well, it blew again, and I I, I can't drive it. I, I found some folks. They're actually friends of the channel. Um, they they want to, they'll work with me on the Merc. I'm going to take it to their place. We'll go meet them. Maybe we can help their business out a little bit with some shout outs and 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 exposure through the channel. Maybe. Um, I always like that. I think JK Boots got a few calls, friends. Thanks for doing that. Um, those boots are unreal, by the way, so far. So far, so good. Uh, no open wounds on my feet. Uh, so this video is me fixing up the carburetor again, actually just quick fixing it. I don't know what I'd done, but it worked out nice. But then again, it went foobar. I'm done. I'm done. I'm either putting a new carb on it or I'm sending it to my buddy Patrick to get rebuilt or something. But friends, here's the master plan. I'm taking the Merc. I'm putting exhaust, brakes, steering, the whole gamut. I love that truck and I'm going to spend the dough on it. I'm going to get it. We're going to stick it in there. We're going to put it into the Merc. I love that Merc. I, I, I'm, going to, I'm going to work hard and to, to make this happen for that Mercury. I love that old truck. Uh, I bought it for $500, that truck, and driven, drove, just drove it. So it needs brakes. Um, I think I'll put headers on it because the exhaust is wiped. The manifolds are cracked. They're probably going to be nuts and bolts snapping off. It's going to be a big job for these folks, but they're willing to take it on. So <clears throat> that's what's happening. The Merc's getting fixed up. The crew cab needs carb, needs a bunch of stuff, but I got to get the carb figured out. So here's some fun we're going at with this thing. It works out okay. It's a victory story, but then, of course, the next thing happens, right? <laughs> Enjoy, friends. Be kind to one another. Let's do this, friends. We can do this. There's so many human beings on this planet if we all start thinking nice about one another you know starting with ourselves i think we're going to be good i know we are be kind all right friends here's something i've been thinking about doing for a while i don't know if this is going to work but i got my right hand man here i call him ganges <laughs> master mechanic master mechanic ganges Master wrench holder, flashlight. Holder. <laughs> Hander, <laughs> scalpel man. <laughs> yeah, <pretty much. laughs> anyway, friends, I can't take it anymore. This thing's just, it's not right, happening. Yeah. Actually, speaking of that, Sonny, can you grab that toolbox in the back of the pickup for us, please? One? Yeah. <clears throat> and we'll see if we can get lucky on this. I, I don't know. Ah, I don't know. I'm just going to, I'm going to gun this thing. I'm done with it. Maybe do a rebuild. Now, is that sucking air? There's no way. Set me up with a uh, half inch socket, please, bud. On an extension, if you could, please. Oh, this guy. Oh, don't, don't do it. Maybe I'll do this. Actually done. Oh, yeah.
Oh, you got one more, yeah. What's that? Watch. You got something hooked up to the... Oh. So, friends, I've got a spare carb. It's it's a dandy, actually. <clears throat> Excuse me, but it's got... The butterflies are different. The, the You know how the, the primaries and the secondaries are the same size in some carbs, and then the secondaries are bigger in some? Well, these are the opposite, so I'll show you here. The, the intake's just loaded full of fuel. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, she's, let's see. It's different. Dang it. See the bottom? Yeah. See? Oh, that was nice. Where'd you get it? Up the arm? Oh, yeah. I'll sleeve one sec. Well, I think we better have to rebuild this one, I guess. This, uh, this thing ain't working. This is probably a bad idea. I think the I think the floats were I, I don't even know. I got no idea. To be honest with you. Oh well that might explain leaking. Oh no, there's a gasket there. No, there's not. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. That is a lot of fuel. I can almost guarantee you that was overflowed, over full. I think that was way, way too much fuel in there. I wonder if I should put it back on and just set the floats. Huh. The accelerator pumps in bad shape too. This thing's always been leaking. Yeah, I don't even feel like taking this taking this off to be honest with you. I really don't. You know what I mean, friends? I just don't. I might just set the set the uh, floats again. Just put the sucker back on. Having issues, Holly. Um, crew cat. All right. <clears throat> well, these four barrel carbs. I got to be honest. I uh, I mean, I've played around with them, friends, but I, I am not a, a a carburetor guy. And this is the four barrel setup where you got the little. You know what I mean, friends? You got you got the. Uh, Accelerator pump that's got to happen. You got the, the four bolts. And I'm almost thinking I'll take these out for now. And you got to get this seated. It, there. Did you hear it? It popped. There it goes. It popped in there. So that's actually pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good about that. That shouldn't leak. Yeah, that that there it is. It's popped in there. There we go. Now we're in. But is our accelerator pump? Oh, it is. I fluked out. Oh, yeah. Good. Okay. Now pick your best washers. Your best. See these little washers? Pick the best ones for the bottom because that's where you'll leak. If you decide to leak, it's going to leak there. Pick your best ones for the bottom. That one doesn't look that bad, actually. Let's put that sucker right there. Yeah, that looks all right. Sometimes I'll double up on them if I need be, but I, I'm just gonna go with this for now. I feel not too bad about this. I'm trying to get my float level. Friends, I think something's, uh, I just, something's wrong. I'm just telling you, something is wrong. The carburetor's been acting up like mad. And, and if you guys remember when I bought the truck, it, uh, it was doing some really strange things. Uh, and Billy got us going. The guy we got it, you know what? Hands to him. Uh, he got it going for us. But it, there was there was carburetor. His accelerator pump was pooched. 
There was a lot of stuff that was going wrong with this thing. But he got us going and we got it home and uh, so I had to take it off. It was just something terrible was wrong with it. I don't know what's going on. I really don't. So I, I'm going to try and set the float levels, which I don't know how to do. But I reckon there's a, I remember in the old days I had a, a, uh, a glass bowl on the side that I could see in. You know what I mean, friends? And uh, you, you could see it, okay? Yeah. All right, now. Let's, I guess that was on there. That washer must have been on there. I think I'll leave it on there for now. While I got it off, friends, I may as well just check. Here we go. There's a little filter in here, friends. There's a little filter in here. And we'd almost be silly to not check it, you see? We may even have pulled it out last time we were here, playing around with it. I, I don't know. Oh, no, there it is. No, no, it's mint. It's mint. No, it's good. No. Oh, no. It's mint. Let's get this back on. Pretty much right where it ended up. There we go. Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Oh, floats. Yeah. Floats. Let's let's check the floats. Hang on. Okay. I can only presume from my old days of hot rodding, that there's this screw over here on the side of the bowl that when you pop this off, that would mean that would be your float level, right? So I'm gonna put the carburetor level, semi, right? Just get this thing pretty much level as can be here. Maybe, there, let's see, there. Okay, now that's what I'm gonna do. That's just what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna set these floats. Loosen that off. I've never done this before, ever. I see fuel, I see it. So that means, so what would happen if I turn this in? Well, that's, what happens? I got no idea, but I, all I know is my carburetor is, uh, He's having some issues. I don't know. Oh, I might, I don't know what to do, friends. Maybe go to Texas and buy a high boy. Something that's already been done. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Okay. Let's see if we can get this straight here. <sighs> All right. Uh, 
Now, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, I did, I had this like this. I went down in here like this, like that. That's what I did. Boom, there it is. I, I don't think it gets better than that, friends. Okay, I just don't. This sucker here, I think. Maybe that was there, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Feels a little loose, that one, actually. But I'll be able to get some of it. Yeah. There it is there. Okay, good. Now, let's get this square here. Give that a little squeak. This guy, a little squeak. This guy, a little squeak. Okay. Open that wrench for the back corner here. Oh yeah, see that? There we go. There we go. Check everything by hand. Should be okay here. Is that right? Yeah, it is. It's shooting fuel too. Oh, come on, do me right. Do me right, will ya? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I gotta get a long screwdriver for the jets. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Oh, there's a long screwdriver right there. Okay. Well, I gotta make sure I got everything square here. Four bolts, a fuel line, We'll try it. So friends, <clears throat> what it would do is fire me? up and uh, it would idle like this and then it would start to load up so bad that it, I'd have to come over and put my little choke in there, stick on the seat against the gas pedal and it would, you know, I'd have to rev it high to get it to burn it out and then it would warm up and then it would be fine. Well. This is only a short success. It goes goofy again. All of a sudden, what happens is the back bowl starts spewing fuel out of the out of the air horn top. Um, you know, it could the, start the, acting up. I don't know. You know the thing, the breather. this stuff happens to me friends I, listen I, I've been horsing around with these old trucks for a long long time okay uh, I never got my driver's license until I was 19 I was just talking to buddy about that the other day now this thing's been acting up like crazy like up and down erratic loading up I thought I was actually running on seven cylinders before I pulled the carburetor it still may act up I don't know I don't know. Sounds like it might be loading up a bit here now. I cannot complain at that, friends. I, I just can't. There's no complaining happening. Not for me. Not tonight.
carb off fix played around who knows in a carb like i cleaned it a bit too eh? i used a carb cleaner on there and out and played around with it you don't know you could have a minuscule little something from the bottom of the tank we did run it out of gas friends remember we run it out of gas who knows she could have sucked up something from the bottom of the tank floating around waiting in there in the float to get in there somewhere and screw you up <sighs> friends thanks for watching see you on the next video that life and times over and out friends be kind to one another